In a recent letter to the Carolina community, the UNC Chancellor claimed that Silent Sam posed a threat to public safety. But wasn't it the campus police who stood by and allowed outside criminal elements on the UNC campus to actually start a riot and tear down the statue, destroying property? Wasn't it the police force under your authority who allowed the rioters to go on for an hour and a half, attacking the statue behind banners, standing back the whole time until they cut through Silent Sam with a blowtorch, attached a rope to it, and dragged it to the ground? Yet you posit that an inanimate object posed a threat on campus. Really? Do pencils misspell words? Do forks cause obesity? Do cars make people drive drunk? The chancellor then went on to declare that the Board of Governors, the board I serve on, had given her clear authority to do what she wanted with Silent Sam. She declared that she and her Board of Trustees could find a safe path, an alternative place, where Silent Sam could be placed. No such authority was ever granted. We simply demanded an answer from you as to why and how the property destruction, the tearing down of Silent Sam, and the madness happened on one of the UNC system campuses. Now regarding a quote, alternate location for Silent Sam, let's do one simple thing. Let's check out what the law in North Carolina actually says regarding the relocation of a statue. To do that, we have to go to North Carolina General Statute Section 100-2.1. It's called the Monument Protection Act. It was passed back in 2015. In fact, every senator, Democrat and Republican, voted for it, including then-Senator, now Attorney General, Josh Stein. The bill itself is easy to understand. It's only a couple of hundred words. Let's look at it and figure it out. It starts by saying, that only the North Carolina Historical Commission has the authority to remove, relocate, or alter monuments, and then only in compliance with Section B of the law. This section clearly states that a monument may not be permanently removed, but only relocated if certain circumstances are met. Regardless, a monument must be replaced no later than 90 days from its removal, with Silent Sam, that's within 90 days of August the 20th. If the object is to be relocated, it must be relocated to a place with similar prominence. It must honor visibility, availability, and access that are within the boundaries of the same jurisdiction. That's the UNC campus. Further, the law defines only two circumstances as to when the object can be relocated. First, to preserve the object, that is an area prone to flooding perhaps, or a hillside that's collapsing, you can move the object in those cases, or when necessary for the construction, renovation, or reconfiguration of buildings, open spaces, parking, and transportation projects. There's only one other exception. Building inspectors can find that the threat posed to public safety makes it an unsafe or dangerous condition. Now, I've actually heard the argument that if groups, particularly outside groups in this case, come on campus and destroy property, that because they're doing that, it's a threat to public safety and a building inspector should move the monument. Does that make sense to anybody? The bottom line is this. North Carolina law is perfectly clear. Silent Sam remains where he is. The only people who can take down monuments in our state is the General Assembly. And there is no condition for moving Silent Sam under the law of this state. In fact, this whole mess was predicated and foisted upon us by a campus that was out of control, where leadership was not leading, where the police stood by at someone's direction and allowed outside radical elements on our campus, many of whom have now been arrested. More are coming. They allowed them on our campus. They allowed them to go behind drapes for an hour and a half and saw down a statue that had been standing for 110 years. The law is the law. And we are a nation and a state of laws. 
not mob rule. We cannot allow the radicals to win. In fact, we can go back to the teachings of Dr. Martin Luther King and Mahatma Gandhi. They sought to change things through nonviolent means. That is our answer on dealing with anything we don't like in the kind of society in which we live. If you don't like things the way they are, you can vote into office the people that you want. That's the way it works in a constitutional republic. In the meantime, let's talk about our history. Let's look at our monuments. Let's open a conversation and a dialogue. Let's not throw fists. Let's not scream at each other. Let's not tear down monuments. In fact, let's have more open dialogue. Let's have more monuments. Let's come together as a people. Let's not repeat the mistakes of the past. Let's move forward together for a better campus at UNC, a better system here in the North Carolina University system, and a better state. And let's see to it that we focus on educating our students in how things work in our society. I'm Tom Goolsby, and this is just my opinion.